Hello, and welcome to Byzantine Da. Uh, yeah, alright. Ottomans are uh, hated by Hungary, Poland, Austria, etc. So, we're going to improve relations with Hungary, and we're going to improve relations with Poland. Um, let's just set all this up. So, we should probably build up to our force limit. One, two, three. And we are going to send this out to protect trade. And you guys can mothball. And how much money are we making? Not enough money. So let's turn the army maintenance down. And we'll turn this fort off. Now, we're not going to be able to get an alliance with Austria because that's it's already minus 72. And it's just going to go up when they get alliances. Uh, but here we can probably get an alliance because we're very, very close to getting very close to getting royal marriages. So let's improve relations with them. Um, there's not really any other point uh, improving relations with anyone else, like Mamluks and stuff like that, uh, because we just won't get alliances with them. Um, everyone, everyone else is just too far away. So let's um, sit back and enjoy the pain. I might um, uh, not get a royal marriage with you. Just because that will slightly lower Diplo Rep. Um, we can get a Diplo Rep advisor, can we? Yes, we can. Um, I'm not going to get it straight away because, well, it's going to cost money and we need money. So I'll get it when we're close. When we need the extra little boost to get our uh, Royal Marriage. And they have a union! Which is great. We, If we get an alliance with Poland, we need them to have a union over Lithuania, so it's like a two-for-one deal. We've been warned by Ottomans, so that means we won't be able to go to war with anyone other than the Ottomans for 20 years. Uh, Ottomans declare war on Albania. This is very, very good news for us. So, as you would see, you know, playing anywhere else in here, here, you would see that the Ottomans do immediately go to war. And they usually go to war with either Albania, Serbia, um, I've seen them Karaman, I've seen them Dolkir, or usually us, Byzantium. Um, I think it might be a good idea for us to get rid of Get rid of our our current king. Let's just make him a ruler and put him in charge. Okay, so boosting up royal marriage. Do, do, do underhanded robes. So they're fabricating on us. Well, this is going to be a fast war. This is going to be a fast war. We want it to be a slow war. Um, because we need time. Uh, lose loyalty, lose Diplo power. Yep, we'll do that. Um... Okay, I think... I think we might, uh, we'll just grab Diplo Relations guy just in case he disappears. That would be very, very upsetting. 24. 24. So we're going to get Poland first. 24 or 28. Um, you guys can come back and I just want to be sitting here with my finger primed. Uh, gain Petroco. No! I want to gain stability. In fact, um, Let's boost stability. We get minus 10% stability cost modifier because we're orthodox. And gain stability. So now we're up to plus two. See, the marginal cost goes up the more stability you have, so the marginal benefit goes up uh, the more stability you have. So that's the best time to activate a new stability. Uh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Come on. Albania still exists. Come on. Pretty sure he won't. Ottomans won't go to war with us. 
Um, oh, I, actually, I've also seen him go... When I was playing... Uh, which game was it? Scottish? Was it Scottish? He went to war with Venice, I think. So, we got our Polish... There's our Polish um, royal marriage. Now we just got to wait for the Polish alliance. So we have to wait one month. So let's grab the alliance. Okay, we've got an alliance. Now we're just going to get Hungary. That's fight them f them's fighting talks. Okay. Uh, good. He's only got one stack there. Normally, if he's got two stacks, it means he's probably going to attack. So let's go hungry. Great. And we can get our alliance. Come on, alliance. Woo! All right. <laughs> Hard part over. Um, now, there's basically two ways that this is going to go down. Either Hungary or Poland will get a... Looks like another diplomat. Um, probably administrator or a balanced. Uh, but it depends on the personality of Hungary or Poland as to whether or not they go to war with Ottomans. If the Ottomans do something stupid, like... Um, I don't know. Um, if they attack Venice and uh, Venice's trade league is larger or they attack Ragusa and Ragusa's in a trade league or something stupid and they get weakened, then it's possible that Hungary or Poland will declare war on them and they might not call us in. And then we'll have to use the other one of them to just join anyway. Um, but what will probably happen is, so we're earning two favors per year. Hopefully that lasts for a while. Um, but that means we'll be able to go to war in 20 years. So this one means we'll go tw 20 years, but it's very likely that that will change to one every three years, in which case then it's 30 years until we go to war first. Um, but in any case, we have both Hungary and Poland. It would be best to, to it would be best to wait for the uh, favours rather than, um, you know, just declaring war and asking for, let's see, lasting land. They don't want land at the moment. Two favours a year. It, no, no, it's one favour every two years. We gain one favour every two years. You need ten favours, so that's twenty years. Uh, Ottomans declared war on Kandar. All right, see, 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 see. You would you would know this. Everyone who's watching this is probably an EU four player, and you know you've been sitting over as France, and you see, oh, Ottomans is slowly getting all its calls back and destroying, basically the Baltic and uh, the um, the um, the uh, An An Anatolian region. Not the Baltic, the Bal Balkans. Um, let's see. Um, is there any reason? Yeah, just may as well stay there. So the only person we can really attack is Ottomans, because we've been warned. So let's build up spy network in Ottomans and grab claims, because we're just going to build claims over the next 30 years. Just build up spy network, do claims and get ready. So, I'm going to just maintain Diplomats. May as well. There's not really anything else we could do. Um, we should be able to integrate Athens in 10 years. So, 1454. Um, I suppose in a couple of years we might... We might improve relations and stuff with them. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't need the Diplo guy anymore because we've got the two alliances, basically the only two alliances we're going to get. Um, I could try and get an alliance with... Um, I could try and get an alliance with Bosnia or Serbia and then just 
not honour the alliance if they get attacked by the Ottomans or by Hungary. Actually, let's do that. Um, so, in the times when I've attacked the Ottomans and I didn't have full favours and they actually wanted land, so at the moment, he wants land, he doesn't. And if I were to declare war, let's just grab back one of the diplomats. Um, first off, neither of them wants land. Neither of them is willing to join based on land. Even though he actually views it as a province of vital interest. So it's very difficult to get them both to agree to go to war. Um, sometimes they will when Ottomans have been weakened, but again, this is going to be based on how the game plays out over the next little bit. Um, interesting. Alright. No, I don't think that's going to help you, Georgia. Um, so, in any case, I think Serbia and Bosnia will probably provide an extra little boost that we might need. Uh, let's see. Bosnia is 7,000 troops, and Serbia is probably the same. Serbia is 8. So, um, yeah, the problem we have is they usually don't have, they usually won't want land, and if they do, they usually want too much, because we're pathetic, and they want lots of land, and, um, because uh, their war participation will be like 75, 80%. And they'll want like this and this and this and this and this. And you probably won't even be able to give them enough land to satisfy them. Um, in the first run I did of this, I actually had a problem where they wanted some of my cores. Because they their participation was too high. So I'd rather come in on favours keep their trust levels up and not have to renege on the trust uh, which I did on my second run uh, where I had to break the alliance with Hungary and then everything fell into a heap because it was much more difficult with just Poland and Lithuania. So I'd rather keep both at the same time for as long as possible, both alliances. So, um, oh one other thing is we're probably going to have to move our ships so I want to split transports over here and we're going to get access through our ally. Ask for military access. Confirm. Great. And I want to move all my, <clears throat> all my troops over here. So they'll be safe over here. We'll put them up here behind... Up behind Poland. Lose military power. Fair enough. All right. So now we can put our ships back and we'll move our troops up here. Now that's using a diplo slot. Um, should we put them in Hungary or Poland? Probably Hungary. Um, Hungary will be first on the line and then we can just help. Uh, we can reinforce if he just starts going down and Viden, etc. Uh, so let's ask for military access from Hungary and we will go up there. You guys can go back. Great. Let's mothball that. You guys can go sit like right in the middle. Let's see. Um, protected by forts, ideally. Um, so. Uh, Athenian nobles have risen up, risen up in Athens. Very well. Uh, <clears throat> Athens, where is, um, where's your army? Uh, <clears throat> alright, um, well, I guess that, that's annoying. So now we have to move our troops back. So, let's go over here.
Death to spies. Genoa's spy network decreased. Very good. Alright, we're going to auto transport. No. I don't know what you're doing. So, um, I don't trust the auto transport when it does that. So, let's see. Six. And. Where is it? Six. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. And you guys go put troops here. Okay. Alright, it looks like the auto transport should be fine. This is paranoid. <laughs> Uh, is that the exact same path? Screw it. I'll just manually do it. Uh, let's see. One manpower, base tax, or production. Uh, let's go base tax. Base tax. I want the monies. Uh, you get on the boat. Long boat. <laughs> get on the boat. And come over here. They're supporting the roses. The roses in the garden. Very good. Uh, let's put a... Let's roll a general. That's not great. Um, but... I'd really, really like to get to... Actually, it probably won't matter. We're not going to get... We're not going to war immediately. Probably doesn't really matter. Um, let's roll another general. Ah. Uh, Alright. I'm not rolling again. Here we go. Don't roll zeros. <laughs> Let's auto transport back over. Go, 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 go. I like that. So the transport from here to here, because he's just staying there. It's just get on the boat, get off the boat, get on the boat, get off the boat. And then it moves the boat over here and goes, get off the boat, get off the boat. Alright, now you can go back over here, now you can mothball, now you can go hide in the bushes. Uh, what quest can we do? Recover Greece. Um, Diplo Rep, Prestige. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see if we can rival Ottomans. Yes. Genoa and Crimea. And Genoa, Provence, Papal State, Crimea. Crimea River. Not even close. Okay, so we're going to get our alliances with you guys. So let's just improve relations with you. You can come back from Poland. Uh, let's put our army maintenance down so we can start making money again. And you guys are going to go up there. Okay. Um, now I'm wondering whether or not we should get an alliance with, with Serbia as well. I don't see why not. We can always just say, no, look, we're not going to, we don't want your, your war with the Ottomans straight away. Uh, so yeah, let's improve relations with them and see if we can get them. So it'll be Bosnia, Serbia, Hungary, and Poland, Poland, Lithuania. I think this is a good mix. So let's get... Uh, you didn't choose a, a quest. Interesting. Um, I'm going to keep building it when we get up to 100 spy network. 
So then a claim will last as long as possible. It'll be 25 years from the point when we actually need it. Serbia's motto is remove kebab. Serious? What is that like the national... The national... Thing? You know, on their crest with their animals and stuff like that? And on their money? Alright, so we'll do... We'll do Bosnia, we'll do Serbia. I have relatives who are from Serbia. They like it. And I like visiting them for, for um, Orthodox Christ Christmas. Get delicious, um, delicious treats. Cabbage, cabbage treats and, um, and like baklava and stuff like that. So, mm, yum, 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 yum. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we're making money. We're improving opinions. Everyone likes us. Hungry. Improving Ottomans. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. That's that's what that is. I don't know what that one is. Serbia, uh, Wallachia and... Uh, Wallachia and Ragusa. No... Alright, I have no idea what you're improving with with Aragon, but anyway. Uh, so, I heard my timer. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to be just cruising along. Probably trying to get some more alliances and then probably breaking them if Ottomans attack. Um, and then, once we've built up all our favours, we're going to go to war with the Ottomans. So we're going to build up some claims as well, and we're going to take... Um, all of our cores and probably some of our claims as well. So, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye for now.